BDAC 2019, ladies and gentlemen, day one, and we are now after the lunch break, and now we are at the booth of Panoro Minerals, and with me here is Lukuman Shahin, the CEO of the company, and of course, we want to get an update. Luke, welcome. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having us here at our, mm -hmm. at your, love, not our, your lovely booth, and uh, what I saw already here in the background, that's amazing, because that looks like the future production here, right? Correct, So yes. what is it? Well, this is the it's uh, Bambas, right? uh, it's the Cochabamba's yeah. project, and really, essentially, it's a summary of what the preliminary economic assessment includes: location of the plant, the open pit, the stockpile areas, plus, importantly, the exploration areas that uh, we've been targeting subsequent to the preliminary economic assessment. Mm -hmm including the Chaupec target, yeah. which is the subject of our work plan, the primary subject of our work plans for this coming year at Cotabambas. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. So, as I said, last year, November, we spoke. Maybe you can summarize a little bit uh, of an update what happened with the company. Right. Well, uh, since uh, late last year, let's uh, turn first to the Cotabambas project. Um, late last year, we announced our, um, that we had our drilling permit expansion approved to start <coughs> drilling in the new Chaupec area mm -hmm. and then um, we started to uh, a geophysical program at Chaupec uh, including um, IP, MAG, uh, gravim uh, gravimetric surveys mm -hmm. and we've just recently completed that work now. So we've completed the geophysical program at the Chaupec target, which has given us uh, some good uh, data for targeting of the drill program. Mm -hmm. So we expect within the next two weeks to start drilling at the Chaupec target. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was the primary effort at Cotabambas was to finish that geophysical program and now start drilling. So we have planned you know, somewhere between 1,000 and 3,000 meters of drilling okay. at Chaupec and we hope to make a new discovery there. What would we like to uh, drill through? Um, we have mapped uh, some very interesting high-grade SCARN and porphyry mineralization at mm -hmm. surface. The geophysics is indicating the potential for a uh, massive uh, porphyry SCARN target some 200 meters below what were mapped at surface. So it looks like a very large anomaly yeah. and uh, you know our drilling will test that large uh, anomaly together with what we see at surface. Mm -hmm. and when do you think you have the first results? Well, we'll start drilling within a couple of weeks, and then with uh, b about uh, a month after that, we should start uh, getting our assay results back Super. from the so drilling. So, like April, May, we have a good news flow. Yeah, I think from middle April forward. Yeah. Our drilling our drilling program got delayed a little bit because the geophysics got delayed a little bit because of the weather issues in the rainy season at site. Okay. Um, so, that's our main focus at Cotabamba's uh, exploration-wise. The second area of focus at Cotabambas is related to the current resource. The current resource includes 120 million tons of secondary enriched plus oxide mineralization plus a mixed uh, zone of mineralization. Mm -hmm. We're going to do some additional metallurgical testing on those zones to look at the potential for A, increased recoveries through flotation, but B, to potential recovery process alternatives through leaching. Okay. So we think there might be a way to add a little bit more bonus and juice to the yeah. project through, okay. oh, through nice. that. <laughs> so those are, uh, I mean, that's the update at Cotabambas and our plans going forward. Um, at the Antia project... Uh, that's a smaller one, that's right? That's a smaller mm -hmm. one that uh, we completed last year, the preliminary economic assessment on. Uh, we're working with uh, some advisors right now on the Antia project to define the uh, funding solution through to uh, bankable feasibility study mm -hmm. there. So, so you want to do it still by yourself or you consider maybe a partnership? No, I think we're going to be looking at a partnership mm -hmm. on the Antia project. Uh, that project is uh, really ready to fast track through to bankable feasibility and uh, so I think it makes sense for us to find a partner there so that we can focus our exploration expertise on the Cotabamba's yeah, project. Absolutely. Um, so, in addition to Antia, uh, as we discussed back in November, we signed a, a joint venture agreement with Jogmec of Japan mm -hmm. on our Huma Mantata project. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, late last year we approved uh, a 20 to 36 month budget of some three million US dollars into Huma Mantata and uh, the field work uh, for that, preliminary field work for that has begun. So that will be another focus during this year will be the, the exploration work at Huma Mantata which mm -hmm. is being funded by JOGMEC but uh, being uh, managed by our uh, Peruvian exploration okay. so team. So you have the full control. Right. That's important. Fantastic. So how is it going with, let's say, with Wheaton on the one hand and probably Hat Bay mm -hmm. is also in the game here. Yeah? Right. And because you, you're getting still your milestone payments from Wheaton, everything is in Correct. good shape. Yeah. And the uh, company has enough money still, right? That's all good. Correct. Yeah, we, uh, we have some five or six million dollars planned for investment this year, which is funded. That comes from our cash position, uh, but also, like like you mentioned, uh, wheat and precious metals. There, this year we'll get another approximately two million Canadian mm -hmm. from them, uh, part of the uh, milestone or the the periodic yeah. payments on the yeah. uh, the Cochabamba streaming agreement. Um, also, late last year, Hud Bay uh, informed us that they had completed the permitting. Uh, sorry, the community agreement on the Cusiorco project, which we had sold to them. Mm -hmm. By completing the community agreement on Cusiorco, that triggered a milestone payment to us, which we received in January of this year. Yeah. Um, there How are much was that? Uh, that was uh, half a million U.S. dollars. Good. And there are three additional milestone payments of a half a million each mm -hmm. that uh, we're hopeful that we'll get uh, during the course of this year as well. Mm -hmm. so, so we have milestone payments coming from Hud Bay, the periodic payments coming from Wheaton. Uh, we, are, uh, we do have a decent cash position now, yeah. so we're not uh, planning on any um, uh, Races, finances yeah. during the course of this year. Fantastic. So, yeah. uh, you know, we're... We're well well placed. We've got some time to uh, keep doing some good work. Mm, fantastic. What would you consider the fastest upcoming catalyst for the company now? Meaning, what what might drive the stock price in the near future? Because copper is on the right way up. Right on the pricing. Um, as always, it's exploration success. Yeah. The drilling program at Chaupec and what that starts to tell us or mm. confirm for us will be the key. Okay. Um, we're optimistic that at the very least we'll identify the continuity of a large SCARN mineralization at or near surface. Mm -hmm. And hopeful that uh, we can also confirm a more massive SCARN and porphyry mineralization at depth. Mm -hmm. That could tell us that not only will the project economics increase, yeah. but we could potentially change the scale of the project. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. wow, fantastic. Would you consider a possible sale of Antilla also? Let's assume all of a sudden copper goes through the roof, we are at 350. Then mm -hmm. this is all a new game, for sure, yeah, because the valuations are changing. Right. And I can imagine that, the, let's call it the big boys, are really going like this, like crawling for good projects, right. yeah, because they need it. Mm -hmm. yeah, because my feeling is with the e-mobility, the infrastructure, the urbanization in the world, this copper demand is rising, 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 and we right. do not have large new mines. Right. Yeah. So, could you imagine that maybe some, or is it possible that somebody comes around and says, "Hey, you know what? Look, we want to have that." Yes. You know, our uh, strategy, valuation strategy for our shareholders, is focused on the growth and upside at Cotabambas. The growth and upside at Cotabambas is going to come from a exploration as I mentioned, at yeah. Chaupec, uh, B, engineering, the metallurgical work that increases recoveries, uh, C, it's going to come from the increase in copper price, mm -hmm. uh, and D, it's going to come from de-risking the financing of this project through the bankable feasibility. Mm -hmm. And if there's an alternative for us to partner or sell the Antia project, in order to um, obtain all the capital that we need to fund mm -hmm. Cotabambas through the bankable feasibility, yeah then that's an alternative we'd look at. Okay, fantastic, great. I'm not asking about the price because I know you're not allowed to say anything, <laughs> but still maybe a guess. What would be a price you could imagine? Well, <clears throat> How to let's, say? let's look at uh, benchmark copper project valuations on uh, during the last copper cycle. Uh, copper projects sold for five to 10 cents US per pound of copper. Mm -hmm. Uh, between Antia and Cotabambas, we have 10 billion pounds of copper. 
that's between 500 and 500 million and one and billion. billion dollars for the two projects. Wow. Um, and TIA is roughly a third of that. Mm -hmm. So the potential valuations are significant, um, and the market is starting to work in our favor. Absolutely, it goes in your direction, right? And that is good. Super. Look, thank you very much. All Great right. update, thank you. and uh, yeah, we look forward then to the upcoming news flow. Very good, thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic, thank you very much. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, there was Lukuman Shaheen, the CEO of Panoro Minerals, and you heard it, the drills are turning on the one hand, on the other hand, they are yeah, really improving all their projects together, and uh, yeah, we wait for a lot of uh, new results uh, from Chowpec here, and the company's finance, that's even more important. As you know, with uh, Wheat and Precious Metals, there is a nice streaming um, arrangement in place, so they get their milestone payments, also from Hut Bay, and I think the company is in great shape, so now it is like, we need the trigger point and then really move the share price. So check out the company. Thanks for watching us. Bye-bye from Toronto.